Hi, welcome to another Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this four channel infrared obstacle avoidance kit for a smart car. This is a kit that uh, has four sensors that can be placed at the two, four different locations of a robot. When an obstacle gets closer, you can see those lights. It shows the proximity and the closeness of the objects and each of them will detect it separately. So you can get the code by clicking at the link at the description below or you can go directly to uh, robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. So this is the actual module that has connected it to these pieces. So let me explain one of them and so you can see all the same. So this four channel infrared uh, detection module is made based on the LM339. So it's made based on the LM339 uh, quad differential comparator. So this can work between 2 to 36 volts, but in this case we are using 5 volts, so it works fine. So this data sheet also will be provided with a code. With the code. Uh, so the so it has inverting input and non-inverting input and it has the output so it compares it and is, the result will be uh, outputted so this IC has four of those and we have inputs and also output biased with the proper uh, resistors calculation so we will we are using them here for those of you who are interested in electronic so the output of these of, of, the, of each comparator has a pull-up resistor. This is for V logic, for the positive logic have been connected and there is an, a resistor needed to be connected. And here is a capacitor. So we have a resistor here, meaning that if there is no detection, nothing, this pin will always be high. So the detection meaning low. So this, when it, de when de it detects, internally this connects it to the ground and this will be zero. So this module has built in this resistor for us, so that makes it very easy. So we don't have to define anything or put, we don't have to put extra resistor on the Arduino board. So these are all those pull-up resistors that are needed in the diagram. So we have here, it has been clearly labeled as VCC ground, and then here they call it N1, 2, 3, 4, so four of those are here and then we have uh, LEDs so D1, D2, D3, D4 these are when the channel 1 is detected this will be on channel 2, channel 3, channel 4 and this is a power LED which shows that the, power, the module has a power so the module has a power so each, each of these small sensors that we have four, we have three pins. So we have VCC, which is the last one. VCC will provide the voltage here. The five volts come here. And then we have the ground, the middle one, and then the output. This is a transmitter which sends the signal. So this is directly connected via a small resistor to five volts. And this is also connected via another resistor to 5 volts. But this one is connected to the, to this is the output. So this black is the receiver. So this is a transmitter. The infrared goes and hits the object and returns back. And this is detecting it. So then it, this is the output which is connected to this pen. So from here it comes to this module at this pen and then you see when I touch this, you can see there, so this is very sensitive. It gets and then read it. The sensitivity of each channel will be determined by this uh, potentiometer here. The sensitivity will be reduced when you turn it to the left and sensitivity will be increased when you turn it to the right. So you have to play with this, but, but the best option would be to just put it at the middle and start your uh, application. Once application works, then play with this in case if your 
increasing it. This will have very short distance application of few centimeters, less than 10 centimeters. One of the beauty of this kit is that you will eliminate a lot of wiring, a lot of other uh, things because um, once you connect all of these sensors, you will have only the six wires that, that goes. So four channel press ground and positive to the uh, to your Arduino. So it makes it very easy and clean. So this can be used in many ways, but this is one of the suggested ways that I would use in a car. So uh, let's say this is the front of the car. Then you can have the front left, front right, and also you can have it the back, back left, back right, because let's say the car goes and uh, close, gets close to an object. So you can back up and also make sure that there is nothing, especially sometimes with the servo, you go, you turn left and right. So any of these can detect and trigger something so you can stop it. So from the back also it doesn't hit. So let me explain the code here. I've defined this, uh, this pen, pen 2, 3, 4, 5 for the four inputs. And instead of typing these numbers, I want to make it easy by writing the text. So we have to define it here. So 2 is represented with the front left and the 3 is for the front right and then 4 and 5 for left and right of rear. And then pen 8 is defined for the brake. This is optional for this application and pen 9 is front obstacle I'm using a pen to turn on an LED or you can stop a motor or turn on something and pen 10 will show an LED that there is an obstacle for the rear and then inside the setup from here to here we just define the serial monitor 9600 baht to print the text for us and then for the four Mm, pen we have to define them as an input so front left front right as an input here and then rear left rear right as an input so this these text that we have have been defined here for example this front left is 2 as if I type here 2 because 2 is not readable so I'm using that constant variable here so this constant will be read easily and then here we have selected the break as output that pen 8 will be an output so we can send to buzzer or something and then here the pen obstacle front and real obstacle the two pens have been defined as an output. The main uh, loop is doing majority of the work for us so the four sensors are being read here and stored so front left so that's pen 2 two digital reads so we are reading and result is stored in front right this should be right and then this should be left so front left and then rear right and rear left so these are the values that are reading so we are reading four sensors each stored in these variables and here from here to here we are reading the front if front right is equal low or front left is equal low low means detecting an obstacle and because the board is made like that to so the low is the detection and high is the not detection and then if we say either front right is low or front left is low then turn the front obstacle which is pen 10 pen 9 high and also print this text otherwise pen set pen the, the obstacle pen the front obstacle pen to low which is in this case LED and this is for the rear rear right and then rear left so if we say a rear right is low or meaning if an obstacle is detected or right rear left an obstacle is detected any of these will cause this to be true and then we will have the LED will be on maybe the motor will change the direction servo will change whatever you want you can change this and also print this text to show that there is an obstacle otherwise just set it the opposite so this is also optional depending on your application you can remove it
and then the delay is 200 milliseconds so that is five times a second it just goes when it reaches here it goes back to the loop and continues so if you want to if your uh, application or car or robotic project is fast you can change this so you can read it faster 100 milliseconds 50 milliseconds depending on your application you can change this so the smaller this number the faster it can read and the faster your robot will react now i've connected it and also you will see the serial monitor is here so we can see it these two are for the left uh, front of the vehicle and this these two are at the back so this the green light is for the front detection and the red is for the rear detection so if i an obstacle comes in front of this the light will be on and also you will see the front obstacle also shows the text here or if we have something on here the uh, any of these will detect it because this will be on one corner this on the other corner and on the back also we can have two maybe you can put it on the side if you're using it for a um, multi-directional robot so any of this will detect the rear obstacle and also the light will be on with the red so depending on your application you can do something here something else and change it and in the upcoming projects i will have some kind of uh, smart car so this will be practically used and then we will utilize either a brake stopping motor or maybe use a servo to change the direction so this was introduction to this four channel infrared obstacle detector thank you for watching please thumb up the video please share it and also subscribe so in the future when i make more videos about these robotics arduino projects you will get informed take care